Hello, I'm Rose and my company is taichiwell.co.nz. I'm going to do some silk reeling today, which is a very old form of qigong and uh, the basic movements for the Chen style. So sometimes it's called a tai chi qigong. And so I'm just going to go through some of the basic movements and then we're going to go through into the form. The silk reeling form is great for creating alignment for the knees. Put the knees over the middle of the feet with all the toes on the ground relaxed. The toes face towards the ground. The weight is evenly distributed. The alignment continues through the whole leg with the hip joint being open and the spine straight. The first arm movement is like scooping sand at the beach and then waving. Open the joints and keep the shoulder and elbows dropped and relaxed. The second hand movement is like patting an animal and throwing a ball. The movement is coming from the waist and the arms are following. Then we are moving into double arm movements using both types of arm movements. The next set of arm movements come through the centre of the body and circle around. The thumbs are on the inside of the circle and the fingers are open like you are using a large wheel to steer a sailing boat. The eyes follow the hands to improve the peripheral vision. The next stays in alignment with the rest of the spine with a feeling of openness between the vertebra. The next movement is like pulling a large rope, pulling a boat up on the beach. One hand is on the top of the rope and the other on the bottom. The final set of arms goes along the centre line and the body turns at the waist. Imagine you are running in slow motion, first forward and then backwards. The weight is through the back foot, which is turned out. The front foot creates enough space to keep the hips open and goes in the same direction as the arms. The closing movements gather the energy from the universe and there is a clearing through the body and down to the feet as the arms come down. Now let's begin with both the arms and the legs. I'm separating the legs to a comfortable distance to be able to keep the feet and knee alignment. Start the scooping and waving movements with your dominant side. I'm placing the left hand like it is a bowl at the dantian to gather energy to the centre of the movement. Breathe into the centre, be aware of the centre. Keep the movement at the same pace and constantly flowing. The spine is aligned by relaxing the tailbone and filling the space between the vertebra. The neck is aligned with the spine. There is a stillness with the head as everything moves around the centre. The tongue is placed at the top of the palate to help quiet the mind. Breathe in and out through the nose while placing the tongue at the top of the mouth. Relax through to the fingers and toes. Now we are moving to the second set of arm movements. Feel the fingers relax as you are patting the imaginary animal. The thumb is on one side of the spine of the animal and fingers on the other. It can be any animal that you like. I'm using a very small imaginary unicorn. It's my imaginary animal. As the arm circles upward, it comes towards the ear. It is a bit like throwing a shot put. The eyes are following the movement all the time. Keep focused. The eyes are looking downward slightly to help relax the mind and keep the spine and neck aligned. The knees are aligned over the feet. Relax the toes and feel strong and connect to the ground. Stay in the flow.
Now we are changing to the other side, shifting the weight from left to right and then turning the waist to feel the spiraling energy. Sometimes silk whirling is done wider for more stretching. The feet move to keep the alignment with the knees instead of keeping them still. If you are going lower, be aware that you need to maintain strength and that a loss of feeling strong and balanced means the alignment is out. Maintain structure. The wider you go, the more difficult it is to move out of this. So this is done to create flexibility. Moving to the patting and throwing the ball movements. The heavier the ball that you are throwing, the more it helps build muscle. Keep the imagery of this at a level where you can keep the movement flowing easily. The large circle version of silk reeling is about opening up the joints. When the joints are locked, then there is no flow. Stay within your movement range. Stay within the flow. The fingers I have also opened up here Open up the shoulder, elbow, wrist and finger joints. The thumb can be beside the fingers and this helps close the energy within the body. Or as I am doing, bring the thumb forward and open the joints. The movements can become smaller if there is any stiffness or to bring the focus more towards the centre of the movement. Move to where you can keep the movements flowing. I'm moving to the double-handed version of the patting and throwing. The patting is a reminder to be kind, to stay relaxed, move other energies away from you. Everything is still moving around the centre. As one hand pats, the other hand throws. Staying calm and centred while the world moves around you, while people move around you. Shift the weight and turn the waist. The arms are following the turning of the waist. Sink and relax. Breathe into the abdomen. Keep the breathing circular and flowing. You may want to practice this breathing separately to take the edges off and relax with the breath. Feel the massaging of the organs as the waist turns and you breathe into the dantian. Moving to the other arm movements, the scooping and the waving. Relax the arms. Let the arms go as you scoop and relax the shoulder and elbow as you wave. Drop the elbow to keep the shoulder down. Shift the weight, align the knee and hip. Move from the waist. Keep the structure aligned through the middle. Suspend the head from the top. Breathe. Follow the movement with your eyes. Now we are moving to crossing the arms. The hands turn towards the body as the arms come down the centre. The energy is towards the body. As I move to the right, I am opening up the arms evenly like going around a large energy circle, like going around a large steering wheel. The hands are open up to the outside. Shift the weight, turn the body and open up the circle. Shift the weight, turn the waist and bring the arms up the centre line. The hips are open, the back is straight, the tailbone is dropped towards the ground. Relax the feet and the hands.
The next movement shifts the feet to face 45 degrees. The feet are still parallel. The hands are moving together like pulling a large rope. Feel grounded and strong while you are pulling this rope. Again, have the weight through the center of the feet. The toes and feet are opening as the weight shifts onto them. If you can do this consistently, you may also want to imagine the weight shifting like a figure of eight on your feet. As you shift the weight, it is moving towards the front of the foot and then slightly back towards the heel as you turn the waist. As you shift the weight to the other foot, again, the weight shifts more to the toe end of the foot and then moves back towards the heel as the waist turns. The tailbone can also draw this figure of eight as it relaxes downwards all the time. You can practice this during the form or separately. Shifting to the other side, turn the foot. Again, bring feet to parallel. The feet are facing in the same direction, pulling on the rope in the other direction from the way you were going before. Feeling strong and fluid. Feeling strong while keeping relaxed throughout the body. Shift the weight and turn the waist. Stay grounded with both feet on the ground. Follow the movement with your eyes. The next movement involves turning the foot to 45 degrees and relaxing the front leg, suspending the lower leg from the knee. As the weight is not shifting, you are relaxing this back leg, keeping the hip open, the tailbone down and the foot relaxed. The movement is coming from the waist. The arms are moving forward towards the centre line and then the body is turning as the arm moves back. Turn the front foot out 45 degrees and move forward onto this foot. Using the same movement for the arms, go in the opposite direction. I am moving from the waist still. Circling from the waist has the whole body moving. Silk reeling is about creating circular movement. So sometimes it can depend on what your goals are, where you are creating these circles. Finishing with a clearing, bring the feet to about shoulder width apart. Gather the energy from the universe and pour this through the body, clearing any energies that are blocked as you move the hands down the body. Clear the energy right through the body and out through your feet with your mind. Thank you for watching this video. It was the first video of the Chen series. The next video will be the Chen 4 where the movements change more. Keep practicing the silk reeling. It's a great way to create the right alignment, the right breathing, relaxing the body and the mind.